Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Developer Advocate. And I might still be in a cast, and I can't put on eyeliner, but you know what? We still have great dev news, so let's get right into it. First up, a team at Microsoft Research Asia has reached a major milestone in using AI to read a document and answer questions about that document, about as well as a human. Now, this was done using the standard question answering data set known as Squad, a machine comprehension data set made up of questions about a set of Wikipedia articles. Now, this is a big deal and a big advance in AI, but don't get too scared that the Borgs are going to take over quite yet. As AI expert Gary Marcus said on Twitter, the squad test shows that machines can highlight relevant passages in text, not that they understand the passages. But still, this is really great stuff, so congrats. Speaking of AI, Microsoft has released a book called The Future Computed with a foreword by Brad Smith, Microsoft's chief legal officer, and Harry Schumann, the executive vice president of Microsoft's Artificial Research and Intelligence Group. Um, the book is free, it's a free download, and it's available now. And what I like about the book, and what I'm sure Paige Bailey will really like too, is that it focuses a lot on the humanity and ethical questions that AI raises. So be sure to check that out. Next up, our friends James Montemagno from the Xamarin team has written a great guide for C-sharp developers about how they can ship better apps using Visual Studio App Center. The guide is full of videos, tutorials, and more, so check it out. Now, accessibility is a topic that has pretty recently become near and dear to my heart, um, which is why I'm so excited to see the latest episode of GALS. In this episode, our very own Kayla McKinnon, K down, interviews Jenny Lay Fleury, the Chief Accessibility o um, Officer at Microsoft. And this is an awesome interview and a great look at how a big company uh, thinks about accessibility. Also on Channel 9 is the very first episode of Five Things with our friend Burke Holland. In this episode, Burke talks to Dan Abramov about five things about Create React apps. And now, this is a brand new show. It's already one of my favorites. And if you're interested in React, be sure to check it out. There's been a lot of talk about security lately, what with the meltdown and Spectre sh um, uh, chip exploits, which might get you thinking about how to get serious about security. Fortunately, Microsoft Virtual Academy has a new course about hybrid cloud workload protection with Azure Security Center. This is a free course that takes you through everything you need to get started with Azure Security Center, everything from workload protections, detecting threats, instance response, and more. Last week, we talked about PowerShell Core reaching general availability, but there's been a lot of questions in the community about what PowerShell Core is and how it differs from Windows PowerShell. Over at the new stack, Mary Branscombe answers all your questions and explains the differences in what each tool is best used for. If you're interested in IoT, the Azure team just released a new open source IoT extension that adds capabilities to the Azure CLI 2.0. This enables you to, to manage Azure IoT Hub resources, device provisioning service instances, and linked hubs out of the box, all from the CLI interface. Now it's time for my pick of the week. 2018 is a big year for open source because it's the 20th anniversary of the term open source and many of the big open source uh, milestones that we recognize today. And one of those milestones that I think is worth highlighting is the January 22, 1998 announcement by Netscape that it was going to release the source code for its browser. It might not seem like a big deal now, but at the time, this was absolutely bonkers. This decision ended up giving us the Firefox browser and the Mozilla project and let the term open source become a thing. Now, we'll be talking more about other open source milestones as the weeks and months go on, but I thought that this was a cool one worth mentioning. All right, well, that's it for us, and we will see you next week.